Hi guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can create a slider menu aka a carousel on a mobile device. Before going further on this tutorial you need to watch my previous video on the swipe menu on the mobile device. So let's get into it. So first thing first you will need to create um, let's create our carousel or slider menu. So let's create an image so it will automatically create a canvas so i will set the canvas to overlay and change constant pixel to scale with screen size it's very important to put the reference resolution to uh, 1920 and 1080 so this one say it will always match um, the size of the um, of the of the camera and your device so second thing i need to take this image and i need to change his anchor and stretch it so let's put zero oops uh, zero 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 so as you can see this picture take all the um, all the content of my canvas but uh, i will not put the white image i will take a black image and this image will be used to fade let's put 0.5 0 0.5 and basically this image will be used every time I will touch my carousel this image will show and it will give some effect so after let's rename this image so let's create uh, let's call it uh, background uh, background slider so um, after create this image so to see much better i will deactivate this one so let's create a ui uh, where it is uh, scroll view so in this scroll view i don't need the vertical because we will create uh, an horizontal so you can delay this one in the horizontal one uh, you can put the height to zero because we don't want to see that and last thing in the scroll view on the background uh, we don't need the background so you can remove the alpha or you can just remove the component because I don't need this one other thing important you will need to put the scroll view to stretch like this so let's put uh, zero 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 okay uh, uh, you don't need the vertical scroll rect uh, it's depend as you wish you can put elastic clump I like elastic because they give they give some effect it's it's kind of nice so let's see the viewport about the viewport so my mis my bad it the the component you add is not on the viewport but on the um, on the content so horizontal fit prefer size and horizontal layout let's say middle left so much better and after that so viewport is straight content is okay and um, let's create our first slide so let's create like uh, an empty game object so we'll call it um, let's call it uh, parent sorry uh, parent slide slider one and let um, the width and the height for this one it should be the same as your canva because it's very important so as you can va I will put this one thousand ninety twenty and ten ten eighty so as you can see the parent slider will will match our our height of the canvas and this is very important for the for the next of the tutorial so after create my first parent I will create my UI image and my UI image will be in center as here and I will upload my image so I will rename, rename this one slider one and 
there is some I got some image so I will put a link in the description if you want to download the same image as I use so let's create a slider one there it is and um, here this is very nice because because it's in, uh, in the center you can put the width and the height you want so let's put like maybe if I put uh, 90 20 by uh, oops like this and so as you can see if I change our, uh, my um, my resolution to a landscape let's say 2960 by 4040 it will match our 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 canvas so this is very nice so don't forget to put everything on stretch except um, this one because this one will be driven by the horizontal layout and the slider need to be in center so we don't want to our slider uh, put uh, take all the size of um, of our Canva, so let's divide it this one, but by zero uh, multiply. Sorry, multiply by zero point eight should be nice, and this one by uh, zero point eight. Okay, sorry, I forget to put the multiply zero point eight. So that should be okay if it's up to you what size do you want to have for your slider so if you want you can also add the layout element to your slider uh, just create like uh, add component layout element and you can add your preferred size so I add it because it's just to be sure and after that what I will do I will duplicate this and I will be right back So there it is. So I change all my picture, and as you can see, I start to have some carousel thing. And uh, let's see what's happened when I hit play. So as you can see, it's starting to look as something like a carousel. So you can slide it. But what we want to have is when I slide, it should stop on this image and centralize this image. So um, I see you on the next video for the coding part. So see you guys in the second part.